Thank you for returning again to another week of Money Talks. Like I do every week, I only like to talk about things that either excite me or disturb me. And being as that I'm down heavy, there's not too many things that excite me. You guessed right. This is another disturbing week for me here on Money Talks. Let's talk about what is really disturbing me. My boy out there, my boy at Dow Chemicals, the CEO, Andrew Leveris, Liveris, Liveris, I don't care how you say your damn name. That's not the point here. This is the point. The fact that you're spending the company's shareholders' money to go to events such as the Super Bowl. Allegedly saying, make sure I'm in a different hotel room than the top clients. It's not your money, Andrew. Why are you spending shareholders' money? I don't know. So I looked on Bloomberg. I saw that you're... Your salary is about $2 million a year. Just about. Just about $2 million a year. And your total compensation from working for Dow Chemical since 2006 is almost about $30 million. The case is that you've made almost $30 million in 10 years. And that you're spending shareholders' money to go out with family and friends. What the f*** is you doing? 90000 for wine? What does this wine do for you? Does it increase your libido? I hope so. I hope you can pour it out and it can make you some gold slippers or something. Because that shit is ridiculous. $90,000 for something that you could pee out your body. Does it lo lower your cholesterol? Blood pressure? Increase heart rate? Increase blood flow? Does it lower your risk of stroke? How about reduce migraine? Hypertension. Something. This shit has to have some type of medical benefit for you to be spending $90,000 on something. And then to send it to your son's teacher, you took treating yourself, not cheating yourself, to a whole nother level. I can't believe you. I can't believe none of this shit is going on. First of all, you should have been making sure that Dow Chemical was upping the dividend every quarter while you pinching... Di Company dimes. That's what you should have made sure of. But I will tell you this. Something that they probably missed in school while you were getting your education, your MBA, or your bachelor's degree is probably something that they missed. The money in your company, especially when you work for a public company, is never your money. That money belongs to the shareholders and the owners of the company. You are just the chairman. You are an executive. The same shareholders that, I, that hopefully looked at the proxy statements looked at the the quarterly statements and voted you in for your compensation package. They voted you in to maintain your your prestigious position. Well, Drew, you f***ed up, Drew. You f***ed up real bad. Now your company's in a bad position because if they say that they allowed you to do this, guess what? <laughs> say bye-bye to your shareholders. But I heard you've been doing a very, very good job. You perform very well at your position. So if the company says that you did this without company knowledge, then that means bye-bye, Drew. Good luck finding another job where you can steal some money from another public company. My boy Craig worked for Walmart. He came in late. He got fired. My homegirl, Cynthia, she works for Payless. She forgot to take a lunch break. She got fired. Neither one of them stole. Neither one of them emptied out the register to pay a bill or emptied out the register to go to the club to have a good night. Because that's essentially what you did. You emptied out the register of the company. So now that $20 million annually that you have collected, you know, that $20 million, you should put that money that you have saved and the money that you have invested and all the options that you have in Dow Chemical, you should put those and increase the dividend for the next couple years to uh, compensate for what's been missing. You had no business doing that. No business whatsoever. Get it together, brother. Because like we always find out, before it's too late, money talks. Now it's across the wire with Don Heavy. Peace and love. I hope the American people are taking notice and paying attention to the news and all these job cuts. It's a scary thing. Nobody's future is secure. Nobody's future is for sure. Understand that, American people. Understand that, people around the world. The Caterpillar, 10,000 jobs. On October 2nd, Walmart 
cut 450 jobs at headquarters. That's not even part-time employees. Those are all salary people. Headquarters, Whole Foods, cutting jobs.